Hey there, welcome to Curtis Stage Video Tutorials. Today's tutorial is part one of two parts where we're going to talk about bringing Photoshop designs into Dreamweaver, basic web, web layout. So let me grab my Photoshop design here. Here it is, a basic front page. You could use this as your template for your other pages. So you can see that I have a layer organization going on over here with folders, right, groups, and inside those folders I have each one of my objects related to those. So for my logo, if I open this up, you can see that I've got two text layers there and so on. In my header, you can see that I have my links and then I've got the background. Now the first thing we're going to save out for this website is this header background here. Now, I love the new image generator tool that's in Photoshop CC, but I want to use the old slice method to slice this header out because I only need this header to repeat in Dreamweaver along, a, along my header's width, and I don't need to take this full image out. So let's say this image is 1200 pixels wide. I don't want to generate a whole 1200 pixel wide image for a header when I know that Dreamweaver could repeat that in the background of a div. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my slice tool and the slice tool is located underneath the crop tool over in your toolbar. I'm going to get my slice tool and I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to grab a small little portion of this header. I'm going to go and name this by double clicking the little blue box right here and I'm going to name this header and BG. Now I don't have any spaces here because this is going to be an actual JPEG file or PNG, but in this case it's going to be a JPEG. So I don't want to have any spaces in the naming of this. So you'll notice that I ran BG for background together with header. I'm going to click OK to that, and I'm going to go to File, Save for Web, and I'm going to click on just that little slice, and I'm going to change the quality to 100. You'll notice that the size down here, 497 bytes, is really small. That's great. It's going to make our web website much faster. I'm going to click Save and when I get the dialog box open here for Save, I do not want to touch this top one up here. It's very tempting to name this up here, but we just named it. Photoshop is going to know what we want to do and it's going to name this for us. So since we already clicked on that blue box that gives up the Slice Options tool, we named that their header BG. We don't need to name it again. Now, we do need to make sure that we put this in our folder with all the rest of our web stuff. And you'll see that I have an image, images folder here where all my slices go, and then an assets folder where my generated images go, and then my PSD and my Dreamweaver file are in here. So down at the bottom of this document, I want to make sure that this says selected slices down here. Otherwise, it'll bring in a whole bunch of other slices for my, on my design. You'll see that that's the only slice that I want, but there's a whole bunch of slices that Dreamweaver made that will just automatically go in that folder if I don't pick selected slices. So that's what I want to do. I'm going to click Save. Now I already had one in there, so I'm going to replace it. Okay, so now I'm going to go on to my image generator, but I don't want the slices on anymore. So I'm going to go to View and Clear Slices, and there they're gone. Go back to my Move tool, and now I can go about starting at the top here and getting these, the logo and the four buttons. So I'm going to start with the logo. All I have to do for the generator is I have to make sure that my image generator is on. So if I go to File, Generate, and make sure that's checked right there, Image Assets, it will generate these images as soon as I put a file extension on these folders. What's cool about this is I have multiple layers within this folder and everything in these in this folder will then generate the image. So I could have two layers, one layer, ten layers. They're all going to make one image. Now this logo, I want it to be a PNG because it's going to need to have transparency between the letters for the background of the image. I don't want to save out a JPEG because it'll put a white box around this text. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on the name of my file here and I'm just going to just change it to .png. It's going to give it that file extension. As soon as I do that, it's going to generate that image for me in my folder. And any changes that I make will be live. So if I go and change what this logo looks like, if I change web design and move it over here, it will also change in my folder. Let's go take a look. Here's my web layout assets and sure enough, there's my logo right there. 
Also, the background that I saved, the header BNG, there it is right there as well. Now, you can see the size of this header background is only is 15 pixels wide by 93 high. Technically, that could be one pixel wide by 93, and it's going to still repeat in that div background. All right, so our layout assets folder already has one thing in it. Let's get those links in there now, too. These links I made, they're inside the header, and each one of the links has its own folder because there's some design in them. There's a rectangle and, and text. And each one of the links also has a hover. It has the regular version of the button, but then it has the hover version. If I turn the eyeball off and on, you'll see what these buttons look like. So I'm going to save each one of these now. So I'm going to go ahead and... Now, for these, they could be JPEGs because they don't need to have transparency in them. JPEGs are going to generate a smaller file than a PNG. So I do want to use a JPEG here. So dot JPG. Okay, you can see that I have these all named. And I can also go look at them all in my folder over here. Here they are. Got every single one of them ready to go. All right, so now the next step is let's talk about this uh, large feature image right here. This feature image has really three parts to it. It has the background, the gray part, which we want as a background in a div. It's got some text that will ha actually happen in Dreamweaver, so I'm not going to send this text out. This is just dummy text for me in Photoshop for design. And then it's, it's got an image right here. So what I want to do is I want to turn, I want to basically send this background out by itself. So let's go find that. I'm going to go to my header, close that up, and I'm going to go to this box up here. And you can see that the box has multiple parts to it. Probably to better organize myself, I probably want to have this box background right here. Here's the box background with its parts. I probably want that to be in its own layer. So I'm going to take all of these items. I just want to have these in their own layer. So watch what I do. I'm going to hold my mouse down, press down Command, pick all the parts that are important for the box, and I'm going to create a group that has those in them. There it is. So it's a group within my box right here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to name this, and I'll call this, um, I'll call this large box, and then dot jpg, right? I don't need a PNG here because this is, doesn't need transparency. Okay, so I've got that JPG, and that's going to go in my assets folder. Now, I do want to take this image. It's below this. I'm going to put it above this. I do want to take this image. I'm going to turn off my background here, and I want to just check this image. This image had a part in it that was kind of still in there. It would have sent that out, too. I made a mistake here when I, when I cut this. So I want to actually get rid of this little part right there that's not supposed to be there. And I'm just going to take my, my marquee tool and hit delete and then command D and deselect. I'll move this image back up into place. And I'll know it's into place. I turn my box back on and there I go. Now, it doesn't matter if my box is on or not because I'm going to send this image, which is layer 45 here. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it large image, all one word or large pick. That's fine. And dot this has to be a PNG because it's got some angles to the image. If you look at the sides right here, this is not a straight edge and this is not a straight edge. So this has to be a PNG. So I've got that now in my folder. Now let's look down here. We've got some stuff down here. Now this, is, this text down in this box down here is lorem ipsum. I do not need to send this out as an image. I want to type that into Dreamweaver. Again, this is just for my design purposes in Photoshop to give myself an idea of what the layout's going to look like. So I'm going to disregard this, but I am going to go to current news. I do want to take that out. So I'm going to go to that layer, the about box, and you'll see there's my lorem ipsum. Don't really need it. I'm going to go to the current news text layer. I'm going to make this one word here. I don't want a space here. Say current news, and then I'm going to give it the PNG, dot PNG, because it's got transparency in between the letters. So there we go. That should go now out into my folder. I also want the featured work. So I'm going to go ahead and name that one. I'm going to make it one word, right? Featured work, dot PNG. And that will go out into my folder. 
effects and all. Now, I just need these two images now. So let me close the, this up here. And these two images are down in this area right here. I've got the featured work image. So I'm going to just take this. I'm going to call this, I'll just call this box one dot jpg and then I'll do the same thing for box 2 and send that out so here's box 2 down here and I'll send that out to my folder so box 2 dot p or jpg these can be jpegs there we go and so there we go look at box 2 had all these layers in it to create that design but they're all going to be turned into one jpeg this is so great this new image generator really like it. Uh, in the past, of course, we would still do all of this with all the layers and we would slice this each individual object out. It was really a pain in the butt. It took too long. So we don't have to use that very much. The only thing we used it for today, of course, was that header with the gradient because we knew it could repeat. Now the footer, I don't really need to take anything out in the footer. I don't need to, unless there was a design in that footer, I don't need to send that out because I can just make a footer in, in Dreamweaver and put that color in there step is to take all the things that we've generated both in the images folder and in our layout assets folder you can see that it's got all the items that we need to build our site so our next step is to open up Dreamweaver and get started on that all right that'll be in part two of this tutorial